Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.15, an Eagle Dynamics AH64D Apache module. Welcome to tutorial 12, Sightlink. Uh, the Sightlink system in the Apache allows you to queue the TADs to the FCR, or alternatively, the uh, FCR to the TADs, although that's in most cases probably less useful. Um, this is quite a, a, a useful capability that the helicopter has because it means, uh, unlike in some of the previous videos where I've accidentally destroyed civilian vehicles, you can actually do a little bit of identification of your targets because, of course, the, uh, the FCR provides no ability to uh, I, you know, identify friend or foe uh, or even do battle damage assessment. Uh, you could quite easily repeatedly attack the same destroyed vehicle if you're just using the FCR. So um, let's uh, let's dive straight into it. We're in the front seat again. Uh, we're in the CPG seat, and I'm first going to demonstrate how to make use of the TADS link mode, which uh, in many ways is going to be the more useful of the modes. So let's get set up a little bit just now. I'm going to turn the ASC search page off just now because it's going to interrupt us most likely. Uh, I'm going to actually get the FCR up on the left multifunction display. We're going to get the weapon page up on the right. Uh, we're going to go master arm to on at this stage. Uh, the TEDAC currently has the TAD as the selected site, which is what we want. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and push sensor select switch to the left. That's going to give me the FCR. Uh, and you can see when I do that, I immediately get an image on the TADs. Uh, I'm currently in FLIR camera. We could do this in, in TV or uh, FLIR. I'm going to do it in FLIR because it's a little bit easier. Um, so with the FCR as the selected site, uh, I can uh, push the, the button to do the single scan. And you can see that uh, FCR is doing a scan just now. It's a prerequisite to use the link mode that you already have a next to shoot target on the FCR. So you can see I now have symbology for next to shoot, and I can even cycle this back and forth to get the one I want. Uh, this one's non-moving, so I'll probably go with this. So uh, yeah, we've got a next to shoot. Uh, it's a wheeled vehicle. It's uh, claiming that it's not moving, and it's um, not particularly far away. So with that done, I can now push the site, uh, the site select switch downwards to the link mode. And as soon as I do that, the TADs will immediately look at that target. Uh, and I could use the TADs field of view controls to get a better look and see what that is. And we can clearly see that is a truck. That looks like some kind of military truck. So that would be a valid target in this case. Now, notice uh, we're, sh we're showing CPG FCRL. So that's us in the... Uh, we're, we're linked to the FCR at the present time with the TADs. Note that if I use the manual track hat, it's actually, as you can see, slewing the radar head. It's not moving TADs. So we have a few different options here if we want to look around. You know, we're currently... The TADs is completely slaved to the next to shoot uh, in the FCR. I can press the slave button in the right hand grip and I now have manual control again using the manual manual track switch. I can't say that properly. Uh, but you'll see that it does still say uh, CPG FCR linked. So uh, let's go ahead and waz to the right and get missiles. Today we're carrying um, K model and Lima model Hellfires, so both the radar guided and the laser guided ones. And you'll see that by default, it's taken us to the radio frequency version. Uh, it's taken us to the L models and uh, we can't actually cycle. We can't actually get the laser guided ones. If we want the laser guided ones, the TADS has to be the selected sensor. So I'm now gonna press sensor select to the right and you'll see I'm now in TADS mode and you'll see that it's switched to SAL, uh, to the semi-active laser. Uh, I can now actually switch between the radar and the SAL. Uh, so just be aware of that. When the FCR, even in link mode, the FCR is still considered to be the selected sensor. So you have to select the TADS to then engage uh, in any other mode. So uh, I'm now gonna go ahead and I'm gonna laze this target. You'll see I've got big box, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna pull the trigger and we're, we're off with a, a laser guided missile. Three, two, one, boom, off with the laser, de and that was a successful engagement. 
Uh, I'm now going to go sensor select switch back to the left, and I'll actually I'll change the FOV there again. You'll see again we're on uh, CPG FCR. Let's do another little scan of the FCR. You'll see we've got our hit mark marker there. That is indeed a destroyed target. And let's cycle the next to shoot. We've got a tracked vehicle over here. Let's make it the next to shoot. And once again, I'm going to press uh, sensor select down to link. There we go. We're now looking at that particular target. Let's pop it back into FLIR and zoom in. Huh, I don't actually know what that is. It's 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 something. It's definitely something. Uh, looks military in, in, in its nature. Again, uh, my manual track is just moving the radar head, so I can hit slave and I can now look around if I wanted to. But let's go ahead and select uh, TADS as the selected site. Let's WAS to the right for missile. Let's fire the laser. Got a big box. Fire. And away we go. So that's another demonstration of linking the TADS to the FCR. Now I'm going to wait for this impact. And then we will reset and we will show linking the FCR to the TADS. I don't know why you would do that, but you can. Boom. There we go. Destruction. Okay, I'm going to reset and I'll be right back. Okay, so you rejoin me. I've, I've kind of got set back up again and we're, we're basically going to do the inverse of what we did before. You'll notice that right now I have the uh, TADS as my selected sensor. I'm going to bring up a target using the TADS, as I've done now, and I'm now going to press the sensor select switch down and that gives me the TADS link mode. And if I pause very quickly, you'll note that um, immediately the the radar, uh, which is these kind of bracketed um, this bracketed indicator here, slewed to to point in the direction the TADS is pointed, and you can see the same thing here on the uh, the FCR display. So if I now go ahead and I do a push and do a scan straight away at about the expected range, so this is at about five kilometers. Right there at about the expected range, I have a moving wheeled vehicle. So we can, you know, if we're not quite sure what we're looking at, we can use the FCR to kind of work backwards. I guess the other the other time when that would be handy would be, I can now sensor select to the left and have the FCR selected. I can hit next to shoot and get that one up. Uh, and I could waz to the right and get a radar hellfire. So if for some reason I really wanted to hit this target with a radar hellfire, I would then have the option of doing that straight away. This is quite an old target, so it's almost certainly gonna miss. Let's see how good the sensor is. Um, but yeah, if for whatever reason I didn't wanna use my laser hellfires, uh, I could do a TADS link from the TADS to the FCR, acquire the target, select it as next to shoot, and fire a radar hellfire. And it actually worked, <laughs> despite the, the target position being out of date, that actually worked and it hit its target. So that's a, that's a demonstration of these two features. Uh, so again, uh, just to very quickly refresh here, if I, have, um, if I have the FCR as my currently selected sensor, I can then do TADS link and it will immediately point the TADS at my current next to shoot. I then have to hit slave if I want to be able to actually slew the TADS, and if I actually want to employ laser hellfires, I then need to make the TADS the currently selected site, and then it will work. The reverse procedure to, to link the FCR to the TADS is to have TADS as my currently selected site, and to then press down on sensor select, and we get TADS L, and that will link the radar directly to the field of view of the TADS. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed that. Fly safe. And I'll see you all next time.